We disagree, but we're all human. And to find that heart in everybody, I think, is, is, um, is a really nice thing to see. This Christmas, Ghost returns to her screens with another festive special. Two stars of the show, Charlotte Ritchie and Martha Howe Douglas, joined us to discuss the programme. This is what we find out. For some people, being around your family is just not really necessarily, like, the relaxing place to be. Ghost is so, it's such a testament to, like, you know, they've had to live together for hundreds of years, so it's the perfect show for kind of getting together with people that have very different views. No, 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 she's no niece of mine. Look at her. She's exposing her knees and she's got a tattoo. In the Christmas special, Ghost takes on an issue that's very close to our hearts here at The Big Issue. Uh, I think the episode does a really good job of talking about homelessness, but why did you want to tackle this issue? We thought that we could find the heart in it and there has to be a real heart for the Christmas episode. We had to handle that quite sensitively because it's not it's not a hilarious issue, is it? I don't think the show sets out at the beginning to sort of have a particular, like, polemical message. I mean, I think it does have a, you know, a, an open-heartedness in the whole the concept. It's definitely a warm show and it's an open-minded show. And I think that that allows it to then explore those kind of, like, issues. But I think doing it in a way that is humorous relaxes people and it gets in through a different route. It's been really nice. Let's give him a chance. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. No. Oh, is that late? I ate it when that happens. And it turns out that Lady Fanny has a personal connection to the issue of homelessness too. Uh, she only saved herself and her family from ending up on the streets by sacrificing her own dreams. What inspired that revelation? It came from my nan actually because um, my nan was a really... Um, brilliant mathematician but she had 10 brothers and sisters so they couldn't afford for her to go to uni she needed to look after them she was the oldest um and so there was a bit of that that I wanted to put in there a bit to honor my man really was like that lady lady button she could have done something amazing but she was you know confined to the to the life that she she had to lead because of the you know the time and yeah I think I think seeing that that is that sadness of you know what she could have been she just had a had a had quite a you know a sad and frustrating life. Thank you. Absolute filth. <laughs> and we learn even more about Lady Fanny when we see her mum, who's played by the legendary Jennifer Saunders. How was it working with her? I couldn't have wished for better. Like you like to say, you know, she she really was somebody that we used to watch when we were kids. She was so lovely. That was not not a starry bone in her body she was just wonderful you know she'd make her own tea <laughs> so, yes yeah, she was um she was amazing she was really really lovely and was she a bit of a hero to you as well charlotte oh a hun- like a hundred percent yeah iconic <laughs> feeling any better then but I didn't get to meet her I was really gutted oh, I wasn't no. in the same place. yeah no I didn't and um but I think sometimes that's that's all right also because sometimes I just turn into a plank and that's so embarrassing I do have to ask have either of you actually seen a ghost no I haven't I, I I I do believe there may be something else because obviously I've heard lots of things, but no, I haven't, and I don't think I'd want to. I think I heard someone say this the other day, like a writer was talking about how she doesn't believe in the in in it, but in the sort of spirit world, but also wouldn't mess with it. That's my feeling. Just kind of like no, but I'll leave it just in case. That's how I feel. <laughs> 